We're here in Devon at Middle Farm Recording Studios. We're here to record a BFD expansion pack. We're really going for hard rock metal. We've got two drum kits by Q Drums. We've got a mahogany kit and a copper kit. We've got all the space in the world and all the time in the world to really go to town on making a great sample pack. This all really starts with the drums and deciding how they're going to sound. Before we even get to the studio, we have a really good idea of what tones we want from the drums, what skins we're going to put onto the drums, what drum sticks we're going to use, and then we get into the room. Usually those plans go completely out the window and we get really kind of creative and we listen to the space. Good drums, good mic, good preamps, good room. That's kind of the recipe for a BFD expansion pack. We've got Sennheiser MD421s on the toms. They're industry standard. We've got a Neumann KSM on the snare along with a Sennheiser 4.1. We've got two sets of overheads, which are giving you a bit of the room. This is a really rare Sony microphone. It sounds great on the kick out. We've got a D6 and a PZM in the kick. And then we've got loads of room mics dotted around the place with different effects on. Loads of different tones to mix together. This is our Trident Series 70 console here. We've got 28 channels of beautiful transformer based preamps and so the whole session is running through here and we're using it for the main colour of the sound. And then we're patching into the uh, collection of compressors here and then finally the uh, Middle Farm secret weapon is this little rack here. They're the uh, final secret source on top of the pack which you know I'm not sure if any other drum sample packs have used these yet so that's the Middle Farm secret source maybe. I found this space about ten and a half years ago actually. It wasn't as you're seeing it now, but the basic shape of it was here and it was amazing. It seems the sort of freak combination of the wooden floors and ceiling, the stone walls, all of the strange angles we have here that were never really very considered combined to make a really explosive, powerful drum sound that's now kind of ten years later quite world renowned and people have travelled from you know America and Europe to make records here. So this is the layer bible kindly provided to me by Mike. We've documented all of the velocity layers that we're going to record. We have to hit every drum hundreds of times, one after the other, at a variety of intensities so that when the user plays it back in their software it sounds as realistic as possible. So it can take hours to, to finish a drum, but it's really, really rewarding in the end and, and it's worth it to get the levels of detail that, that we're starting to achieve within the team. Still checking phase, thinking about phase, talking about phase. Sometimes you want some out of phaseness because it sounds cool, but not all the time. After we sample the drums, then they need to be heavily edited to get them actually to be usable. We know it when it's done, when we're listening to the whole drum kit. You want to represent, recorded, how it sounds in the room. We don't want it to sound like a bunch of different instruments, different drums in a space. We want it to sound like the drum kit is one instrument. Yeah. So that's what we're striving for. It's a really beautiful space and it just sounds amazing. So the final product is, is going to have this kind of next level sheen to it that we haven't really had before.